Hey guys, welcome back to the Style and Beauty Doctor on YouTube. So in today's video, we are going to have the battle. <laughs> the come on, stay in my head. The battle of the skin tints. In one corner we have Chanel, and in the other we have Luna Naster. Um, and today's If I could go like two hours without having a clumsy incident, that'd be great. Anyway, today's video format is something that I probably will not do again. Because it took me like a week and a half, maybe two weeks to film all the parts of this video. And I'm like, yo, I can't be doing this all the time because, you know, my attention span. I got other things to do. Got a whole bunch of deadlines. I'm leaving for Tulum in a few days. And like there's just so much to do and I'm over here having two week long <laughs> video uh, productions. Anyway, so let us get in to the battle of the skin tents, see which one wins. The Chanel, the Luna Nasters on the floor I have to bend down and pick it up. But keep watching. Okay, so first let's compare the packaging, the Chanel, you know Chanel is always going to give you a moment, some extravaganza, so um, packaging wise I do like the Chanel packaging um, more. The Loon and Aster does, you know, I'm not going to say that this packaging is not um, bomb, but you know it's just like, it's like, it's functional, I'll say that, it's functional whereas the Chanel one is functional and it is gorgeous fashion and function. So they both have like a pump-like kind of applicator. So now let's look at the textures. So this is the Chanel. It's runnier. This one is the Luna and Aster. But we'll apply one on each side and we'll see. So let's start off with the Luna and Aster. I went to a whole PR event. We got to speak with someone from their team who demonstrated the product and gave, us, gave me a whole spiel on everything. So this is something, now they only come in I believe maybe 10 or 11 shades. Um, but one thing to keep in mind with anything that is of very light coverage, well this is light to buildable. These only come in maybe 10, maybe 11 shades, but one thing to keep into consideration when it comes to any kind of skin tint or tinted moisturizer is that one shade can work on a multitude of skin tones because it is a very sheer light coverage. So chestnut is the deepest color. I'll insert swatches here because um, I had them give me the deeper shades. Um, chestnut is actually a nice color match for, well obviously I don't have it on yet. <laughs> chestnut is a nice color match for me. It runs a tint, like a little, a little bit too dark, but once I put on, you know, my, my under eye concealer to brighten, put on my blush and the rest of my makeup, it, you know, it's going to be fine. So here we go with the Luna and Aster. Now they said that this is best applied with your fingertips. So I like how that comes out there. So they say the best way to apply this is with your fingertips, so I'm going to apply with my fingertips. So, And I tried this, I, I kind of quickly put both of these um, tints on off camera because I, you know, while surprises are good sometimes, sometimes it's like, I don't want to surprise, I was like, let me try this out before I even want to set up my camera and all that other stuff. Um, but I actually like the coverage on this. I do like that they said it's buildable, so we'll see how buildable it is. I like the finish. Now hopefully the camera can give you what I get in person. This side I have it on, and then this side is nothing. So, I mean, I have pretty decent skin. I do have some discoloration. Like I have this natural. It's funny. Some people think that this is um, when I'm not wearing makeup. They think I have contoured. I'm like, nah, girl. That's my discoloration <laughs> on the area that people would typically contour on. Um, but I like how this looks. I really like that. So before I go in and you know put another layer on to so we could look at how buildable it is. I'm gonna go and put the Chanel on the other side. Now the Chanel is quite runny and there are some, I need to read 
up for to be honest with you, I went into I was I didn't I was not looking for this when I went to the Chanel counter. I was actually looking for the um, Boy Foundation, which I think the Boy Foundation might be from what I read online, and what, from what I understand from what I read online. I believe that the Chanel Boy Foundation would be closest to the skin tint. But I went to a Chanel counter at Bloomingdale's as opposed to like a Chanel boutique, and the guy told me that the Boy Foundation is only at the Chanel boutiques. I didn't really have time because I needed to go to another event. So I was just like, well, what else you got that's new? And he showed me this. Um, I'm going to apply this with a brush at first just because it's got these kind of like particles in it that I think would be, you know, better applied with a brush. One thing I do not like about Chanel um, foundation, aside from the fact that, you know, sometimes they have shades for deeper skin and sometimes they don't is that they put so much fragrance like right now I'm like I don't know if <laughs> if I want to even do a wear test on this because the last time um a couple of years ago that I tried a Chanel foundation it broke me out because I can be a little sensitive to some fragrance but th it, this is like a lot of fragrance in there So yeah, this does look better applied with the brush because when I demoed it really quickly off camera um, and did it with my fingers, it did not look as nice. So here we have the Chanel. And then here we have the Loon and Aster. Okay, so let's see how buildable you can get on both sides. So back again with the Loon and Aster. And of course, applying again with my fingers. Now from what we were told at the press preview, this is more of like a, you know, like a fresh skin kind of, you know, I just want my skin to be evened out and looking luminous kind of, um, complexion product, but they said you can, you know, through layering, get this to be more glamorous. And I'm kind of feeling how this is looking when you layer it, because I feel like the discoloration I have underneath my eyes is, um, diminishing. Typically, I would need, you know, a little bit more concealer to cover that up. And the discoloration that I have here you can barely see it. I do like that. And then like for areas that you might need more coverage, you can kind of press it in, like how I did underneath my eye. See what happens when we put a little bit more on the Chanel side. So far, just on application and how it's looking already so far, I'm I'm team Loon and Aster. So I also got a Chanel powder. Um, it is the Ultra Flawless Compact Foundation. I got shade 152 Chocolat. Oh, by the way, the shade in this one is deep. Um, it does have that perfume smell, so you know when I do the wear test, we'll see if that bothers me.
Okay, so, so far I'm loving that like fresh skin, glowing, uh, well I wouldn't say glowing, yeah I guess I can say glowing. I love that fresh skin, um, even skin, beautiful mm, skin look. I, I don't know what that was, that mm. But anyway, I love the look that both sides are giving. I like how the Chanel found, uh, I like how the Chanel powder finish things off. So next we are going to wear both of these and then I'll come back and give you my thoughts on where and then we'll talk about which one, you know, rounded it out. So this is the Chanel tint. It looks amazing on camera, um, but in person I can tell that the color is not as nice as the Luna and Aster tint. Um, I don't know, I'm going in here in this test, <laughs> this test run, um, wear test rather, going in already a little biased because I already know that I like the Luna and Aster, the look of it a little bit more, but we'll still go through with it, you know, because that's what, that's what, that is what we do. All right, I know I look mad crazy, but it has been 10 hours. This wears really nicely. I didn't touch it up or anything like that. Um, I like the glow that you get from it, but I do prefer the coverage and the shade match from the Luna and Aster skin tint, but this one isn't bad. I don't really like that there's so much fragrance in it. Um, the smell of the fragrance went away within a couple of minutes of me applying the foundation and I thankfully didn't smell it throughout the day. Um, but sometimes when certain products have a lot of fragrance in it, sometimes it does tend to irritate my skin or, you know, maybe a day or two after wearing it, I'll start to break out and I, like I'm, nah. So the winner here, I will talk about in my outro. <laughs> Hello. So I have on the Luna and Aster tint. I actually put it on maybe three hours ago. I've set it with powder on this side. I left this side um, powderless. And I love, like, I love it. I think this has a better color match than the Chanel. Um, but we'll see how it wears. All right. So I have no clue where my Luna and Aster wear test footage went, if I even remember to take it. But the wear by the end of the day was pretty similar to, you know, how I'm looking with most of my complexion products. There was obviously some oil breakthrough, especially in the T-zone area. Um, the the skin tint didn't break down. It's it's It looked good, but you can still tell like, okay, she's been sweating. She's been doing some things today. All right. So... <laughs> in conclusion, I would definitely have to say that when it comes to um, color match for me and the texture and just like the overall performance, gotta give it up to the Luna and Aster. Again, I'm shade 55 Chestnut, which is the deepest shade. Um, I do think that they maybe could use another maybe two more shades on the on the end. Um, but it is something that is a flexible kind of formula, so more than one skin tone can wear that shade, but definitely like that one more. The Chanel, we got to get rid of the fragrance in here. Like, I, I don't know what it is about Chanel and adding so much fragrance to their makeup, because there are a lot of things that I would probably try more from Chanel, but it's like... Dear God, did you have to put like half a bottle of Chanel number no. five in it though? So this one though, I really loved. It, the shade match for this wasn't as great as the shade match was for me with the Luna and Aster, but this one made my skin look like OMG, like damn girl, you glowing. Um, but I probably would have, you know, appreciated no fragrance and, you know, a better, uh, you know, better shade match. So let me know in the comments, are you someone who might use a skin tint? Um, and looking at this video, which one did you prefer on me? Did you prefer the Loon and Aster or did you prefer the Chanel? Which one would you get? Leave me a comment about that. Follow me on social, I'll have the links in the description box. And I will see you fine folks in my next video. Bye guys.